And you know, it was the same, you know when people play drinking games, they're like, all oh, right, every time something happens, it's a drinking game. I'm like, drinking is not a game. Schnitzel. <laughs> it's not a game. It's, when I'm doing it, it's not a game. <laughs> It's serious. Oh, every time that thing hits me, we'll drink. No, let's just drink. <laughs> right, Jeff? Yeah, if you're gonna drink, drink. Yeah, if you're gonna drink, drink. You're gonna play a game, go to uh -oh. sports center. <laughs> <laughs> Craig, are you cussing? Yeah, yeah, you know what? It's St. Patrick's Day weekend. Cussing is allowed on television. <laughs> no? Why is he being so harsh to me? The hell, man? Why are you being so harsh to me? It's almost like in the future I'm going to mock you. <laughs> I have a plan to mock him. <laughs> After this commercial break, I'm going to mock Michael mercilessly. <laughs> Don't applaud, it's not going to be pretty. <laughs> He's going to start crying, isn't he? Oh, yeah. Don't, how could you applaud that? <laughs> Tonight's audience are monsters. <laughs> we'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. but today is Friday. <laughs> that, I have to say, that was Michael's joke. And we've been working on this show for nine years. That was his first joke. He said, hey, you know how we did yesterday's show and it was Pi Day? Well, today is Friday. <laughs> I was like, that's, that's, I was like, that, that is a great joke, Michael. <laughs> And now I can, hey, can you, you know that thing where you can read uh, my thoughts? Yeah, yeah. Do you think yeah, I can do that? You could do that with sure, Michael's sure, thoughts? Sure. All right, see if you can do that with Michael's thoughts. I'm very pleased with myself. <laughs> that was a very good joke. Soon I'll be standing in Jeff's position. <laughs> <laughs> Enough. That's enough. <laughs> well, it's the last show ever, everybody. <laughs> Which means it's a great day for America. Yeah! <laughs> now, it is, it is Friday. It is Friday, of course, not Pi Day. Friday. <laughs> It is, of course, not only Friday, not only the day after Pi Day, but it is the March the 15th, uh, known as the Ides of March. The Ides of March. No, no, not you. I was waiting for the dinner. This is the bit where we get to go, ooh. No! Let, let me tell you, there is no bit where you get to go, ooh, unless I say, go, ooh. Go, ooh. No! Anyway, it's the Ides of March. Good. I didn't say go! Do we have a graphic then for the Ides of March? Oh, what's that coming? I got. Yeah, you. What? Knock it off! Knock it off! The desperate warm up comedian clapping in front of people to make them clap. Like, clap! Clap! Clap or I'll be fired! Give me thunder! <laughs> oh. All right, all right. All right. <laughs> anyway, it's the it's the I <laughs> it's the Ides of March. You know, you know that saying, "Beware of the Ides of March." It means today you have to be extra careful to avoid a disaster. Although, if you're watching this show, you clearly did not heed the warnings. <laughs> 
The Romans used to celebrate the Ides of March with a giant military parade, people throwing flowers, live music, huge crowds. It was like a parade in West Hollywood, but with fewer gladiators. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for people who know what I'm talking about. You could probably go who now if you wanted it. Oh, too late. Anyway, Julius, Julius Caesar was assassinated on the Ides of March. He was stabbed in the back by someone he thought was a friend. It was like he worked in show business. <laughs> I love the idea that they're sitting back there, the guy that's got the did -er button going, I don't know, do I do it now? Yeah, yeah. Do I do, I, will I do the did -er or not the did -er? I don't know, I don't know what the hell is, I don't know what's going on anymore. I wish it was pie day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we really must try and do a monologue one night. I, I think it'd be awesome. Yeah, it was, it was pie day yesterday, it's Friday today. <laughs> Anyway, Julius, <laughs> Julius Caesar, uh, uh, yes, historians say that Julius Caesar brought his ruin upon himself. He illegally seized power from the Roman Senate. Then he proclaimed himself the dictator for life. And worst of all, he decided to put um, anchovies in salad dressing. <laughs> the Senate were like, you've gone too far, Caesar. No, I think it'd be a great idea. We'll put, we'll put anchovies, it's like, like pie day, but with fish. What we'll do is we'll get little tiny fish and we'll put them in the dressing. You know, because not every day is pie day. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I'm punishing Michael so much for making a helpful suggestion. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm, uh, I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> anyway, you know what this is? Here's a story about Julius Caesar. When he was a teenager, he was captured by pirates and they held him for ransom. But Caesar was so charming, uh, you know, and was clever, they spared his life. And once his ransom was paid, he was freed. And then he captured all, every one of those pirates and he crucified them all. I know. <laughs> and the pirates' last words as they were dying were, Arr. And that, that's how pirate language started. They were like, what are these pirates saying? They're going, ah! <laughs> I made that last bit up. But this is a true story. Anyway, look, Julius Caesar was romantically involved with Cleopatra for many years, but he never asked her to marry him. Cleopatra felt uh, betrayed, and she spent years whining about it in public and public mourning. That's why she is known by historians as the Egyptian Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Anyway, after he dumped Cleopatra, there were rumors that Julius Fe Caesar, Julius Caesar, completely different guy, Julius Caesar fathered an illegitimate child by a housemaid, but these rumors turned out to be false. It was actually his distant cousin, Julius Schwarzenegger. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. I... I think I'm done here. That's it? You're good? Yeah, well, not good. I think good's a reach, but, uh, <laughs> but I, think, I think we've reached a point in the show where we could legitimately claim to have filled enough time to warrant another commercial break. All right. You want me to uh, take us to a uh, commercial? Why are you uh, talking like that? <laughs> what, 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 are you talking like that? Or like everything's sort of like, what, why? Uh, kind of right. Hey, I've got an idea. Yeah. Let's see if I can read your mind when, uh, when the camera's on you and I, I'll do that thing. Uh, all right. All right. <laughs> uh, I wonder if I should uh, do the commercial. Oh. <laughs> I hate Ferguson with his skin and internal organs. That was very accurate. Yeah. <laughs> Go to the commercial break. Go. Tonight's program is brought to you by Julius Caesar's Sausage Link. Stab hunger in the back at two bratwurst. <laughs> show where tonight we're just going crazy it's the ice of march we're going crazy it's out of control yeah 
here's the thing. You know, when I was talking earlier on and I had this little sparkly hat on for St. Patrick's Day, well, apparently I've been informed by Michael, who's the producer of the show, I'm very important and in no way mocked by me or Jeff. <laughs> that uh, he, said, he said, when you were doing that, there were little sparkles in your hair from the hat. There's little sparkles in your hair from the hat. Which is actually a problem for me, because when I go home, it'll look like I've been at a strip club. Because there'll be sparkles on me. I think I've cleverly set myself up to actually go to a strip club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, and I get home, I can say, what are you talking about? I was just wearing that little hat. Yeah, no, no yeah, I, I yeah. saw, I saw it on the show, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Are you doing my wife's voice? No, no, I just... Do it again, do it again. Yeah, no, yeah, sure. That's a bit what she sounds yeah, like, Yeah, all right, actually. all right. I was just throwing it out there, just guessing. <laughs> all right, uh, what time is it, Jeffrey Pierce? It's street mail time. Time to take advice from a man who has sparkles in his hair and in no way was at a strip club. 